Hey everybody, Clap Thunder here. Here with hanging out with my buddy Flash. This is my speed flyer. Uh, as you can see here, we're still in the Easter event. Uh, nice rain just comes as I start the video. Nice, thank you. Uh, in case some of you are still trying to get these Easter eggs, which are even though well, they updated it to three times as much. The drop rate is brutal. Now, what I was trying to do, trying to be a little legit, uh, there is a quite a few spots around my camp, my base, uh, along the beaches where dodos do hang out. And so what I was trying to do is uh, kind of force a mated pair, uh, taking out regular dodos, dillos, Compies all seem to kind of share a spawn point. Um, yeah, didn't happen. So you don't, might not get to see. I still haven't seen an egg. Um, yeah, it's a, the rewards. You know, I'd, I'd force it, but um, the rewards are kind of weak on this event. Sorry, guys, but yeah, pretty weak. Now. If you really do want the eggs, uh, you might have seen elsewhere, you can't tame these guys and you can't pick them up with flyers. But what you can do is you can hit them with a grappling hook, hop on your flyer, fly over to a pen somewhere, and drop them off that way. Yeah, there, yeah, uh huh. Usually it's the, that or the regular egg. Anyway. So that's how you can, <clears throat> you might have more trouble with the over raptors because they get spooked, run away and can break away from your grappling hook apparently. So I hope that helps if you're still looking to get some eggs during the Easter event. That's how that's done. Now on to the beaver problem. Thanks guys for the assists. I'm just going to recap here. Sometimes visually it's a little easier to understand than just reading. So no matter what I do here, this really is never going to work. You got deep water, you got solid rocks, but they don't meet. So I'm just not going to get dams in this setup or anywhere around my base here. Now I'll take you to a known spawn point. Just have to fly up the river here a little ways. And it's not far. Now again, here's the trick. Which is kind of disappointing. Obviously this was, they weren't thinking this was really meant for farming. You know, you just got to get lucky or, I mean, you can always build away from your base, but if you're sharing a server, you know, <laughs> people might get upset and all that. But right in here, so this is supposed to be a known spawn point. It's this land for now, I think it's safe. Right in the water. So as you can see, at this waterfall, you got indestructible rock right next to deep water. So beavers can come in here and build dams. You need that combo. Get to work, beaver. So, finally, that mystery is solved. We now know that it just was not going to work. Um, we'd have to build something there. I'm not sure. Up on top, you kind of got. Well, it's you can't get uh, beavers or piranhas. Beavers, once they start spawning, tend to take the piranhas out. It looks like because this uh, my last flyby was full of piranhas. You can still see there is one in there, but it was full before. So I'm not sure what the. Uh, they don't seem to be bothering each other now. But anyway, 
But this is not clear water. And I've not seen him build a dam up here either. But it might work. I believe, from what I read, uh, around the waterfalls is a good point to look, though. So I believe down below is where they are most likely to build. But again, it's that combo of deep water and solid rock right next to each other. Um, uh, if you guys follow Slipgator, you'll see that it, uh, of course it worked out perfectly for him, right in his base. So I think, uh, hashtag Slipgator and Wildcard are in cahoots. Right there. Because that was pretty lucky. Now, finally for this video, I think we're going to go take a quick peek in the swamp cave. Uh, now, these are not meant for soloing. I'm sure some guys are going to pull it off. Um, you know, you can use mods or cheat codes. If you can do it without any of that, like, bravo. You got some mad skills. Let's look. Now, if memory serves, should be... Yeah, let's, uh, let's not count on my memory. 6237. Uh, no, other way. Where are you going, pal? What the heck is honking over there? No. Backies against a raptor. here. Alright. I mean, we just found it the other day. Oh, we should be going too far. <sighs> there it is. Trying to make a video here, people. Looks like that's about it for a Tranodon. Hopefully it'll be safe out here. So right now, I got um, mostly ghillie stuff on. Some flak. That's in case... I think we're going to have to throw the scuba on once we get in here. So let's just take a quick peek, shall we? on mode time previously, I think. Of course, I could have got it just set, sitting there on my bird. Load. Per pretty cool. Yep. We just got poisoned. Uh, do we need the mask? the first time. Or that's not working. Oh, I'm not taking damage now. That's very strange. I thought 
according to the videos and whatnot, that as long as you had the scuba stuff on, Test. No. Nope. Well, I, I. Now I don't know the answer. This is what I know. Well, we'll take a quick gander. Maybe you take less damage. Because having seen some other people, you take a lot of damage in here. If you are totally unprotected. Sure you guys will help me out here. I don't want to go too far. So I'm hoping I just get a little spy and some bee stings. Oh, we got a lake in here. Well, you know what? It looks like we're getting hurt, but... Uh, let you know the poison's there, but it's not t doing any damage, I don't think. Oh, no, no, it is. It's just maybe a lot less damage or something. Oops. Got some spooky wind. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little nervous. Our health is starting to go down. Uh, we got a little ways to go back. So, uh, I think I'm going to call it right there. I'll have to come back with some health potions or something. Um, healing drops or whatever they're called in this game. Um, but that's your little peak inside the swamp cave. So, I hope that whets your appetite. I'm sure like the snow cave, bing, bring friends, uh, just things, some techniques I've heard. Um, can do it with three people apparently. Uh, try and have your head guy have a riot shield and t just a, a, a sword. And they can tank while the other two shoot the beasties. Apparently this technique works well in the snow cave, and I imagine it would be somewhat similar here in the swamp. Although I do hear the swamps harder, so keep that in mind. You do want, of course, Mastercraft or above stuff, preferably Ascendant. So please reference my um, underwater tour of the sea crates. Otherwise, enjoy yourselves. I hope you guys all had a great Easter, and thanks for tuning in.